Hi, my name is Vera from HowToExpo.com and I'm preparing eggplant and ground beef casserole. To print this recipe, visit HowToExpo.com. To start this recipe, I'm adding two tablespoons of olive oil to a heated pot. And once the oil is hot, add one large chopped onion. And I'm gonna cook the onion for about two to three minutes until it gets a little bit soft. The onion has softened a little bit. Now I add four cloves of crushed garlic. And if you like it spicy, you can add a couple green chilies. It's amazing, once you add that garlic, it just becomes so aromatic and such a lovely smell comes out. It's really wonderful. Now that our onion mixture is ready, I'm adding one pound of ground beef. And just break up the ground beef a little bit. Brown the ground beef. Break it apart so that it's not into big chunks. Use them with a little bit of salt. A little bit of black pepper. While the meat is browning, you can wash the eggplant and get it ready for putting it into the casserole. I'm using small eggplant like this. I just cut off the head and then I cut it lengthwise. And then just cut it about one inch slices. The meat is browned. To this I'm adding one and a half tablespoons of red pepper paste. ounce can of diced tomatoes also 15 ounce can of tomato sauce also half a teaspoon of sumac and half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper the cayenne pepper is really optional depends on how spicy you like it also a little bit more of black pepper and salt to taste. Bring it to a simmer and at that point we can add the eggplant. It's been cooking for about five minutes. And I'm gonna add now the eggplant. I'm using about one and a half pounds of eggplant. And this will feed a good four to six people. And it's splendid because it's it's basically a meal under $10. Of course, depending where you go shopping. Give that a good mix. Don't worry if you, you don't see too much liquid in there. The eggplant will release some moisture. But if you like it more soupy, you can add a little bit water if needed. Cover with a lid and cook on medium-high for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the eggplant is fully cooked. It's been 20 minutes and I did open the lid and take a look at it a couple times during that 20 minutes and gave it a stir and it's ready to serve. Perfect served with rice or try it with our basmati rice recipe, which you can find on our website. Until next time, this is Vera.